that don't sound crazy to you no that's not my reasoning it has nothing to do with her race it has to do with the fact that she seems like a very good candidate. Oh, I don't like Trump why? and I why? don't like Republican um, policy. I, I, I will always prefer Democratic policies over Republican policies. Republican what policies are, the are Democrat trying to get and rid of Republican Republican specifically. They're trying to get rid of these social programs that take care of people without putting anything in place just because it's, it's liberal. <laughs> It's yes. bullshit. They are not. They are more about individualism than about caring about those people who cannot care for themselves at the current moment. And and, and if you come up with a be better plan, fine. But they just want to get rid of it just to get rid of it, and that's bullshit. So I I what I was I didn't like I wasn't so gung ho. But yeah, I was gonna buy both for Biden. And the only reason I wasn't so gung ho is because Biden just seemed like he was just too old and and not a good you know not confident enough to do another term. That's the only reason I. I was sad about it but i still would have voted for him if it came down to it because i prefer democratic policies that are for the people over republic po policies every time every time it's just a plus that she is black but every time i'm going to go for the party that's going to take care of the poor people in in a very way that they've been doing and it's been working what about all the homeless in new york and san francisco and la those are poor people they're not taking care of it's hot take that is not the majority and there's more white people on welfare than black people anyway okay so i'm always going to go for the democratic policy that's for the people it has, and i have to do with her race it and you know and i have i'm glad we have a more competent person the picture, in the position the now the picture around here y'all intrigue uh, the reason for you to stay up here and say we being dishonest as of right now and i'm probably gonna get some backlash for this as of right now, I don't know who I'm casting a vote for. She doesn't have my vote as of right now. And I've always been a Democrat. But I have I have a 22-year-old and I have uh, getting ready to be 18-year-old young men that we have to that I have to make sure their future is secure. And I want to make sure people that's running this country is gonna make sure my children's best interest and their children's best interest is at heart. I don't care what color you is, I don't care man, woman, I don't care. I just need to know that you have a policy. We're going to stick to those policies and it's equal and it's fair for everybody else. I know somebody that was personally, uh, her life was personally affected by Kamala Harris when she was in a uh, DA and before she be um, became attorney general when she was in California because of her, her laws that she had. My, my, one of my really good friends got locked up for truancy behind her child having a chronic illness behind her and her loss. So yeah, when, when it comes to her, I have to watch her and you got to stick and move because it seemed like I said, she only come around us when it's time for us, when it's time to vote. She want to use, she AKA this. And just like my girl Michaela said, I don't see her repping none of us. When it, which, What has she done? She hasn't done anything. So I know right now she doesn't have my vote. I'm not jumping on nobody's bandwagon for nobody. It has nothing to do with her just being black or whatever i need i need to know what is she gonna do for us and right now she's not proving nothing to me nothing so right now no she does not have my vote and i just want to respond and just say this that everybody trying to bring up like when she was a prosecutor and what she did and all this like you're not going to blame this one black woman for doing her job and getting her bag as a lawyer in this messed up system that we know is racially based you're not going to blame her for doing her job. Not she was doing her job. And if the laws are unfair because they're more racially poignant and, and putting our people more in it, you, you can't blame that on one person who's doing her job and getting her back. That's what you're not going to do. Okay, she was doing her, She's not her job. She's not black. And then she kept raising up into the ranks to speak <laughs> out against the injustices. She couldn't do it when she was just a prosecutor. She did what she was supposed to do. So you're not going to put boy. that on her because oh, oh, the laws oh, oh, of California put your friend in jail. That was not on Kamala. Okay. I'm sorry. It wasn't on Kamala. It was under her law is what I said. So wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Law, not one the, 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 the district sorry. attorney determines the whether or not they're really going to much. prosecute. Yeah. The district attorney picks and chooses which laws to enforce, who they're going to prosecute, who exactly what charges is going to be levied against who and what where and why and how it's their position and that's what that's why they elected into being a district attorney specifically of san francisco she was ahead of the entire office to determine what happens but you think that it's okay for her to get her bag 
on the backs of somebody else and somebody is supposed to suffer as a result of her just because she getting her bag dog hold on you sound like every other black woman driving that ultima with no bumper <laughs> you sound just like all of these black women that don't care nothing about nobody and who they step on and you're gonna sit here and say that she for the people if somebody will step on somebody else because how you get there matters right because we talk about integrity and stuff all the time what you do and the reason why you do it matters if i kill somebody it's not good but if i kill somebody because i'm defending my family and they coming in my house the why matters you can't say because she stepped on somebody and she was just getting her back that's not enough that's not cool because what that tells me is that you'll do anything in order to achieve power and you'll make the sacrifice what happens when you have absolute power because with greater power comes greater it's responsibility that's the, it's the reason why the word is, that it's the re i'm sorry give me a second give me a second give me a second it's the reason why the word says be faithful and little and then i will make you ruler over much it's the reason you have to prove yourself to be worthy of more responsibility so that you don't then have the the power to then crash out somebody else's life and you don't want to take ownership of it you can't per you can't propose yourself to be president of the United States of America, but can't be accountable to the very people whose lives you ruined as a result of it. What kind of junk is that? The laws ruin their lives. Oh, and even if law. she was the okay. DA, she could not really move it and change it and make it more racially. Do you know what the job of the district attorney is? Do you know what the job of the district attorney is? But if y'all want to do that. If she was a white man, you if she was a white man district attorney, everyone would be calling him everyone would be calling that white man racist right now, looking into that history. And only care about black people for the optics. Y'all stay with that. Not black. Stop saying that. She's not black. I say nothing about her. I said that y'all stay with y'all man who at the RNC at the Republican nomination party or whatever, they had a black caucus and he just drove by them because he don't really care about black people past the optics and putting him in office Nigga, and he's what? a master manipulator he gonna say anything that sound good he think like he he think he helped black people more than everybody else ever did in life because he gave people twelve hundred dollars but y'all okay what? go ahead if that's what y'all want to believe I did, you know so funny I, I'm I didn't gonna pray for y'all that's what I'm gonna do I didn't even get the stimulus because I made too much money same, yeah, me too. Same I didn't even get this thing. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm saying that's what Trump said. That's what he helped black people more than any other president or any other figure ever. Well, because, that's because he he's standing on he the fact that the opportunity zones. Because he was standing on the fact that the opportunity zones, for example, that him and Tim Scott legislated against or legislated for in order to reinvest back into communities to prevent gentrification. And for black people to have more wealth, but the fact that he and so that sounds wealth, great. But that, for the fact that he continued that's not to what Trump said when he went to the black caucus, he just kept I saying he did the what most. He said when he went to the black caucus. He answered he, the hard he, questions, he, but he, he did he not answer them. Literally said it, in a, in literally a, said it during the presidential black. debate. He literally you should said be there with him so you can explain it better than he can. <laughs> he literally said it during the presidential debate with Biden. He said these exact same words. He acknowledged him. Where do you think that I got it from as a talking point? Mm. I don't know. I don't be watching Trump, but I know he's ignorant. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And that's I, the problem that I come across when I speak to a lot of like hardcore Kamala fans or really hardcore Democrats is that they never watch Trump. Like I actually watch full speeches of both sides and they never actually sit there and watch a full speech. They'll only see the clips that CNN or MSNBC post and they go off that little clip and that's what they run with. And then they sit here and they say all these things about him and they take things out of context because they just refuse to sit and listen to him and actually hear him out. And is, can he be an arrogant person? Yes, but I'm not voting to be his best friend. I'm not voting to hang out with him. He's not, I'm not going to see this guy probably ever in real life. So him having a nice personality and smiling and cackling and doing all these things doesn't really matter to me. That doesn't, her smiling doesn't do anything for my life. So that's, you could take that or leave that as it is, but you're not, if you're not voting, if you're not voting based on policy 
and you don't actually know what policy specifically of commons that you're voting for, um, then you're kind of just wasting your vote. I'm waiting for one person in all of these weeks, one person, just one that could just help me to understand what's, what's great about this woman. Give me one thing. Give me something to hope for. Help oh, me uh, hold on. But it, can I ask you? It, it was, it's news to me. So you're saying what you just said, Trump made these spaces to prevent gentrification. These Senator words came Trump out of Scott, Trump's mouth. Which, 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 which he said I've gentrification heard. that came out of his mouth. I don't even think no, he understood that. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. But did he get out of his mouth? We, we sat, we did a whole, we watched it live. Right on after hours, me, Quentin, Mika, Slimmy, we all watched it live and we criticized each and individual talking point of what they said. And then we went and did our own research based off of some of the things that were proposed or what they was being said. You more, the, the, the debate the is still up. You can, go, you can go and watch the debate the for yourself. Word gentrification come out of Trump's mouth. No, it didn't come out of Trump's mouth. Did that that come out of his mouth? It didn't come out of his mouth All in right. that particular debate. So, what? yeah, you need to be there because he definitely didn't say that. And I don't think he understands what that means. But outside of his PR team, outside of his PR team, that's giving him points to put on his website to win the election globally. Shout out to all of the Room 9 kids um, that got mixed in with all of the regular kids when we went back to school, when we started going to school. And they had to separate. Because back in my day, and I often say this on a regular basis, back in my day, and I know I'm a little bit older than most of the people on this panel. I'm, I'm 42. So I graduated from, from high school in 2000. So I'm a little bit older than everybody else. But back when I was in elementary school in the, in the early 90s, it was separate rooms for the room. We It was this room called Room 9. And the room was always closer to the bathroom than any other room. And it was the room that the kids stayed in, you know, how you got a little older and they let you go to different classes like gym. They all did the same activities in the same room, all of them. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. And so they used to separate those kids from the regular kids and they would tell them that they're gifted and talented. Right? <laughs> they would tell them that they were special and unique. In reality, those were the kids that needed extra attention. And then when every time I walked past the room, I would see one of them beating their head. Oh, my God. Anti, anti. This is, one of this is the third I'm, time. I'm explaining something here. I'm getting to a point. I'm getting to a point. Roll with me here. So every time I walk past the room, you know what I'm saying? One of them will have a stain on his leg, like a little wet stain. Another one will be hitting his head against the wall, whatever. So they gave that kid a helmet, right? And then, then after school, I would always see them let them go out of school earlier than everybody else because they had a bus that pulled up before everybody else's bus. Now, the bus was a little bit more condensed than other people's buses, but I didn't I didn't pay, pay that much attention to it until later on in life. And what I found later on in life, when they started doing all of this no child left behind stuff and all of this stuff, what I what I realized is that they started combining all of the special kids with the kids that were regular, the gifted kids. They said that they was gifted and stuff. Now, what I'm also seeing is that all of those kids started breeding. They all had children. They all running in the wild now. And we don't know who is who because everybody is mixed in with everybody now. So this person, you know, plies, I would have, I would like to think that he was probably one of the special, one of the gifted and talented kids, for example. And he's giving y'all insight on how y'all need to move. And so they did have special gifts. It, this is the point that I'm getting at. They did have special gifts. Sometimes they can memorize something. Because when you lose one cognitive function and you like, if you drooling on one side of your mouth, a lot of times you can remember things better than everybody else. Like, honestly, this is a real thing. I, I, I looked at a, a, a 60 Minutes documentary. What you lose in regular abilities you know, to be a normal functioning human being like the rest of us, you gain, right? So you could rap really good or, you know, you may have the ability to play Beethoven or something like that, but it doesn't mean that you know how to talk and, and give insight on whether or not these policies actually work for you or against you. And so all of these kids now are mixed in. And so when I see these people on TikTok and Instagram and I say, and I see them and they say, oh, we vote for Kamala, more than likely, more than likely, that is a room nine kid. 
That is a room nine kid, a kid that sits there and tells us that they've never read a policy in their life. They don't know if you even know why that person is, but they, they may be unique. They may be eccentric, right? They maybe could sing really good or, you know, they can remember something, photographic memory or, you know, they may have blonde hair. I don't know what they have. All I know is they're special. They're a special breed. And for some reason, I keep running across the same ones every single time. Now, the girl room nine ones, I've, I've also learned that they like Nissan Awesomeus. That's a fact. For some reason, <laughs> Nissan made what a car. What is wrong with Nissan Altima? Listen, listen. It's nothing wrong with the Nissan Altima until it don't have a bumper. That's when oh, it becomes a problem. I had a no, bumper. No, 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 no. Nissan yeah, Altimas yeah. with no bumper tend to be the cars that room nine kids all go for. And I don't know what it is. Honest to God, I don't know what it is, but it's it's a normal thing. And I would I would just like for somebody to just help me to understand what's so special about this woman. What is so awesome about her? Let me say this. I I this is the third time this week I've been accused of being on a spectrum, and I will gladly claim I didn't being say on nothing a spectrum about because I actually I didn't say talk nothing children about who are on the spectrum, and I do think Boy, I'm a little else, bit on there, you know what I'm saying? First of all. The, the week just got started. So how who else accused you Room this nine. week of being on the spectrum? Maybe like weekend. Weekend is now. Saying? She meant you know last week. So you're a liar. So you're a liar. <laughs> you you're a liar. I, like, I was like on, on Clubhouse on Saturday. And I think that's when somebody but do you, was you like. You do know the week starts on Sunday. What's, what's, what's going on? Actually, it's wild. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. When I come back, I'm gonna definitely have my points together and my research done. I ain't got nothing that today, so I got to di digress. Honestly, okay. but next I week, can point if, out. Point it out. Have it for next week. I'm gonna have someone else on there. If you are a Kamala Harris supporter and you want to come on panel. Slide in my IG DM and say you're a Kamala Harris supporter panel. Please, men, be patient regarding panels. I feel like I can argue in favor of Kamala Harris better than the people yeah, that's Kamala. actually supporting her. Honest well, to God, I could probably not... make it. You know what? I'm going to take a different position. I'm going to take a different position. Next week, whatever it is that she said that's stupid as fuck, I'm going to defend it. And I want to see the same level of vigor and effort because I'm a, I've researched her. I know what she's done. I know how crazy she is. I know that she like to bust it down for a real one and she gonna use what she got to get what she won't like diamond from the players club. I know who she is. You know what I'm saying? So I think that I can defend her better than some of these other kids from slower classes. I, I, I have her back real good. 